Next comes the remarkable event to witness, the ceremonial march by the RMMS kids. Thank you so much. Respected correspondent ma'am, respected principal ma'am, all teaching faculties, dear parents, dear students and non-teaching staff, good evening to you all. I really thank God for this opportunity. It really gives immense pleasure and honor to me to be here. This is indeed an auspicious day to kindergarten celebrating graduation day today. All young girls and boys look fantastic today. I really appreciate and congratulate to you all. Both parents and teachers spent a lot of time and energy in bringing up their children. So both parents and teachers spent a lot of time and energy in preparing our children for the bright future. So you both have the collective responsibility of making young boys and girls in the leaders of tomorrow. So each and every child is unique in one way or the other. As the sun gives light to the world, your school gives light to you. You, the children, are the race to carry the light to the society. As the light declines, darkness you should remove darkness in the society. As the stars and moon reflect sunlight, you should shine with values that you learned in the school. This year, you would have learned about your education, your uh, discipline, and you would have concentrated more on communication skills, extracurricular activities, and so on. You have been eager and enthusiastic throughout the year. You have started your journey towards achieving the goal. I ask the students to cultivate the act of reading books. Reading books sharpen your mind. Mohandas became Mahatma Gandhi because of books he read. Martin became Martin Luther King by reading the books written by Mahatma Gandhi. The book Eternal Velocity made Abdul Kalam a great nuclear scientist. Children are precious gift from God. Parenting is a privilege. Children are learning more from parents. Like children are learning more from observing what we parents are doing. Thomas Alva's Edison's mother played a key role in shaping her son. Thomas Alva's Edison's mother took so much efforts. Since he was hyperactive, he attended school for only a few weeks. His mother taught him lessons and made him a renowned scientist. So here I am very much thankful to all the teachers who are taking special interest and effort in bringing our child for the bright future. So I thank all the teachers who are gathered here, and I thank all the parents who are taking effort for their children. So I thank our wonderful correspondent ma'am, our director sir, and our founder ma'am, Mrs. Veronica Jairaj ma'am, who taught me mathematics. My, I am also special, I have to give my special thanks to Mr. Shenbagaraja sir and Mr. Das sir. I thank our director sir, our correspondent ma'am, our principal ma'am for giving me this opportunity. Once again, I thank you all. Thank you. Thank you ma'am for your wonderful speech.